Thanks, Carla. Hi, everyone. To win finals at Slash, one needs a purpose-driven startup. Well, let's set the stage for ours. It's almost 2025, and if you are a marketeer, this is how your day-to-day -day probably looks like. You are juggling numerous tools, 20 years old software, and duct taping, copy pasting, thousands of Excel spreadsheets. Well, we at Content Radar want to change that. And our purpose is to liberate marketeers from all these manual tasks, allowing them to focus on what matters. Being creative, talking to their customers, and, uh, well, maybe leaving work earlier to spend time with their loved ones. Because we believe that in 2025, marketing workflows should be radically different and, more importantly, AI-centric. My name is Katya, and together with my co-founder, Ricardo, prior to starting Content Radar, we were lucky enough to have her build three European unicorns. My co-founder, Ricardo, was early at Get Your Guide, and afterwards, he was building internal marketing tools at Spotify and at Zalando. I joined Spotify at Series B as an employee number 150, so Nordics are very close to my heart. It's great to be here again. And I spent uh, 11 years pitching advertising solutions to marketeers and agencies. Prior to that, I worked at Coca-Cola, juggling Excel spreadsheets and disjointed workflows myself. 17 years passed by, and marketing is still very, very manual. Let's look at the content marketing, for example. 90% of organizations are, of businesses are using content marketing, and it is very difficult to scale. It takes hours of time every single week, not only to produce content, but also to adjust it to all the relevant platforms, target audiences, and to distribute it efficiently. Companies are spending thousands every single month on marketing operations and content repurposing. Everyone has content, normally. It's very difficult to give it longer shelf life in the efficient manner. And this is where our MVP comes into play. We started by launching with a unique wedge and offering a repurposing feature that sets us apart in the crowded market of yet another AI-powered social media tool. We take your existing content, YouTube podcast, white paper, press release, whatever you might have, and turn it into LinkedIn and X post, ready to go live, and more importantly, it matches your tone and brand because we have your context. This is just the beginning, but we think it provides value but there is a major shift happening from linear static sales funnels into sales growth loops, where value content is provided at all times. The algorithm is a spark, by con but content is the real fuel. That is why our next product iteration will be automation and personalization of entire multi-channel uh, funnels, marketing funnels, and it will bring us closer to our ultimate vision to create the operating system for marketing that perfectly knows your context, your target audience, and allows you to create multi-touch point campaigns in a proactive manner and build data intelligence over time. We started by launching on Product Hunt. We have a growing community, recurrent usage, and a retention rate of paid users we are very proud of. Our early customer base includes founders, B2B marketing managers, and agencies. And we're tapping into the booming marketing automation market, which is projected to reach 21 billion in the next 10 years. We're proud to be backed by some of the amazing investors from the US and uh, Europe, and we would love to welcome more on board. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to join us on a mission to give marketeers superpowers, talk to me after this presentation and we also have a special code to test our product, special slash code. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Katya. So let's begin with the Q&A. Is Otto going to start again? Hi, Katya. Thanks for the pitch. Really cool stuff. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the competition. Uh, who do you see as your biggest competitions, and how do you position in the competitive landscape? Yeah, so it is a very big market, right? It's an 8 billion market, and uh, the slice is big for everyone, so it's not the winner-take-it-all approach. We started with a repurposing batch, uh, taking existing content, inferring context, inferring what's already there so we can start learning. 
And uh, our USP is that we allow you to generate this content. For now, it's just social media, but we are expanding as we speak in one click. So it's, uh, th those are two differentiations. The repurposing wedge, not many players are doing it. And uh, like super quick generation, seamless. Yes, Dimitri. Thank you, Katya. Um, a follow-up question regarding your ICP. Can you walk us through your ICP again? Who are you selling to exactly? Like which market tier? And um, yeah, just add a bit more flesh to the bone there, please. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So when we did uh, our very, very first soft launch, we obviously had an early adopters bubble network of the network. So we had uh, Maria who started, who left Octopus and started her own fund. Uh, we had other founders and uh, emerging fund managers using our tool. The tool was also much more basic than it is now. As we evolve, we are approaching to our dream ICP. I think Paul Luis should be here somewhere. We are meeting later. So he's working for Prelude. They raised 8 million round. Um, and they are a software company, VC backed from France. It's a one man, two man marketing department. And they love having our tools because it's automated marketing operations. It supercharges their day to day. And we also have agencies. For now, those agencies focus more on LinkedIn, but they also do like proper content funnels, which we want to build next. And uh, those are also great multipliers because they buy 10, 20, 30 seats at once. And we're building seed based pricing also as we speak these days, it's like pre seed live. Hi, Katya. Good to see you again. Um, thanks for the amazing pitch. Uh, I was wondering, especially if we target founders uh, in the more scattered go-to-market, um, how do you think about creating virality in your distribution? How do you get in front of all these founders? Um, how do you create, uh, think about creating this virality in, in the community? Yeah, that's a very good question. So we are part of some of the mar uh, So if we target founders, this is the perfect stage, I guess. And um, also, we piggyback on our own reach. I have almost 17,000 followers on LinkedIn, mostly founders and also marketeers from my previous um, assignment at Spotify. So that's quite handy, founder-led growth. I think we had a slide over there. Yeah. Um, we already have a community and an existing follower base on our socials. We have newsletter subscribers. So yeah, for now it's found a lot. And uh, we started to invest in our own content strategy, including SEO, which a couple of months later is picking up. So it's great to see. And uh, as we speak also today, we're starting a partnership for Cyber Monday and Black Friday with the um, app marketplace from the US, which, right, were, which yeah. is also great timing Sorry, and I it will supercharge us. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, thanks a lot. Let's give a big round. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm.